One of those things I thought I was never going to hear used in a sentence together again was Vince McMahon and football in the present tense. I get when talking about the past. I get talking about it because of the XFL 30 for 30 special that ESPN did a while back. I get all that. But when I go online the other day, and apparently Brad Shepard broke this story and other sites were covering it, talking about how apparently Vince McMahon has an itch to get back into football. 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 Because, again, that first time was such a rousing success. All I can simply say to this whole concept, this whole premise, this whole idea to Vince McMahon is humbug. Absolute and complete total humbug. What is this guy's issue? What does he not get? Like you look at Vince McMahon and his business performances and ultimately his lack of successful business ventures outside of his core competency, his core business of WWE, pretty much everything else this guy has touched has been a complete abstract failure. Like you might say WWE Studios has been a failure, they still exist, but are they really a profitable entity or something that you would take a lot of pride in? No, it still exists, but what does that really mean? That could be as much of a stubbornness thing of, I refuse to let it fail because we are in the business of making movies, blah, blah, blah. WWE Network, not a total, complete failure, but not exactly a rousing, raging success either. But those are some of the better ventures. And at least you could say with the WWE Network, it still ties into the core business. And at least WWE Studios features a lot of movies with the WWE's own talent in them. But when you look throughout Vince's history in the business world and business ventures outside of the WWE, almost every single one of them has been a complete and total crap out. Failure. Back in the early 80s, he bought an ACHL hockey team, the Cape Cod Buccaneers. Didn't even make it a full season before he folded the team due to cash flow issues. Some of you probably don't even know that he ever owned a hockey team. And that's why, because it was such a raging success, he didn't even make it one full year. We all know about the World Bodybuilding Federation, the WBF. What more do we need to say? The WWE Niagara Falls store. Did you even remember that they had a retail store in Niagara Falls? Like of all the places they were going to open one was Niagara Falls. Did you think people were going to be streaming across the border from Canada in order to get WWE stuff? That was a failure. Remember the WWE Times Square restaurant? Because that's ultimately what wrestling fans want. They want a wrestling theme club in Times Square. That didn't even make it, what, four years? And it was gone. Remember when the WWE and Vince specifically realized how the internet was changing the world, but instead of catching up and becoming a part of it and assimilating it, they tried to do their own crap. Remember that stupid-ass WWE Universe site? Instead of getting big on MySpace or eventually Facebook, they wasted years with that stupid WWE Universe site that ultimately was a failure to where then, as we got into the 2010s decade, Vince and the company had to spend years overcorrecting to try and rectify a previous wrong for all that time wasted. And when you had these different video sites come out, remember how the WWE got big into tout? Oh, 15 second videos are going to be awesome. It was a complete and total failure. Like again, everything this guy touches that isn't directly related to the WWE is a failure. Let's not even get into Linda McMahon's two failed Senate campaigns. That's a hundred million dollars out of the cash flow of Vince and Linda to lose to Blumenthal and Murphy. Two failed Senate campaigns, one hundred million dollars. At least you could say technically there was some type of comeuppance from that. There was some type of reward for that with Linda now of course being the head of the small business administration in the Trump administration but it took you spending a hundred million dollars to lose two Senate campaigns to ultimately having a personal lifelong friend in Donald Trump become president in order for Linda McMahon to finally 
realize her political aspirations. Again, a complete and total failure that you probably would have gotten to that point without having to spend $100 million on two failed Senate campaigns. $100 million. And that doesn't even get us to what you could argue is, in a short-term sense, not politics-related, the single biggest failure Vince McMahon ever had in the business world was the XFL. It launched in early 2001. It was supposed to be something cool, something different, something counterculture to the NFL, which Vince coined as the no fun league. The XFL was going to be the extra fun league until the games actually happened and people realized that they didn't know anybody that was really playing. You did all these stupid wrestling skits because ultimately Vince went back to the one thing he kind of understood and knew because he didn't know the game of football. He didn't know the real sports world. You can't control everything there. And even if you try, it doesn't work. Horrible commentary, cheerleaders that were really just cheap strippers from the local area. It was a complete disaster to the point where with one season, NBC was already backing out. Other television partners were backing out. Both NBC and WWE, or really mainly both NBC and Vince McMahon, lost $35 million or so each in one season before they pulled the plug. And now you hear reports or you see reports talking about Vince McMahon has created some offshoot on his own called Alpha Entertainment. That just sounds like a Vince McMahon name, doesn't it, for a company? Alpha Entertainment. Sounds like something some 16-year-old retard comes up with to name his wrestling federation, his backyard fed. Alpha Entertainment Wrestling or some stupid crap like that. Vince McMahon has created a company called Alpha Entertainment. We've also found out that months ago he applied to trademark the XFL. And that kind of could make sense with perhaps a little bit of renewed short-term interest in the XFL with that 30 for 30 documentary from ESPN. But he's also put in trademark requests for the United Football League name, the UFL, and the phrase for the love of football. So not only is he trying to trademark his old name for his old failed football venture, he is now trying to trademark a second name for a second failed football venture, the UFL. What in the hell is wrong with this guy? Vince, humbug your ass on this one. Literally everything you do outside of wrestling, Vince, is a complete and total abstract and just total failure. And honestly, there have been so many people over the years, up to and including your buddy Donald J. Trump, who got into football outside of the NFL, and it ultimately didn't go well. Every other second football league in the history of this country, not named the American Football League, ultimately has failed. And even the AFL's endgame was just a merger with the NFL, just assimilating and becoming a part of the already established league. Why would you want to go back down and reopen this can of worms of your single biggest failure? Now I understand Vince hates wrestling. He really truly does. He hates it and he loves it. He loves the success and the notoriety he's got with it and the fortune he's been able to make, the star power that he's gotten because of it. And he hates the fact that he's associated with professional wrestling. He wants to be known as sports entertainment. He wants to be involved in anything and everything that is not actually professional wrestling. So he hates what he loves and loves what he hates. It's kind of like the ultimate catch 22. But at some point in time, you've got to learn to let this stuff go. All of these other attempts to go outside of the core competencies of the WWE business umbrella have been a complete and total failure. What the hell makes you think now as you get into your mid-70s, damn near, that you're going to all of a sudden figure it out? You haven't figured it out. You've never figured it out. Because when it's outside of that thing you love to hate the most, you don't have a clue what the hell you're doing. You try to tackle a non-WWE thing like it's a WWE thing, and no, surprise, surprise, it is ultimately a failure. I understand when it comes to Vince, we are dealing with a massive ego here, an absolute refusal to believe that he could ever be wrong about anything. And there is something to be said about the entrepreneurial spirit of the only thing worthwhile is something that is attempted, and people are going to fail before they ultimately succeed. But at what point in time do you say enough is enough, take that entrepreneurial spirit and pound it down your throat and shove it up your ass? 
You have one thing, one thing that frankly isn't doing as well as it could be. That should be what consumes you. That should be the everything in total complete all thing here. You don't need to be worrying about hobbies of trying to get back in the game of football. I mean, what's your business strategy going to be with a second football attempt? Your league's going to have fewer rules? The XFL did that. You're going to have money on the line for the championship game? The XFL did that. You're going to allow players to do celebrations in the end zone? The NFL kind of already allows that. The XFL allowed that. You're going to allow customized names on the back of the jersey? The XFL did back before. What, you're going to sit there and hope that so many people have tuned away from watching football because of the protest during the national anthem that you're going to have a rule for your new league that mandates that players have to stand for the national anthem and you think this is a good business strategy if anything you're going to get a few of these knuckleheads to tune in the first game they're going to sit there and be like oh that makes me feel good about america because everybody stands for the anthem like good little bitches and then they realize your product absolutely sucks and then they'll stop watching I don't know who's not getting this message across to Vince. I don't know who could even get his ear at this point in time. But this sounds like nothing more than yet another pathetic attempt by Vince McMahon to distance himself from the one thing that he's ever gotten right. The one thing he's ever done well. Literally everything else this guy has touched sucks in the business world. And yet that seems to be his fascination over the years is trying to do anything and everything that is not directly related to the one core competency of his business area that he has some type of acumen, he has some type of sense, although it seems like that's dwindling as the years go by. I get that some people are feeling nostalgic about the XFL, and there are probably some people, and maybe deep down me a little bit, that want to see the second football venture so that way we can be there to laugh at his face every single step of the way. And I understand he's doing this as an outside thing away from WWE. But literally, if you've gotten to the point where you feel like Vince, you've got enough money that you want to fuck off with, then give me a couple of million dollars. I'll go back to school. I'll go get a bachelor's degree. I'll go get a master's degree. I'll go get a PhD. Give that money to charity. There are all types of more effective ways to fuck off this money than this stupid alpha entertainment endeavor which is ultimately going to it sounds like lead to a second attempt at football which is ultimately going to be a failure just like your first one was Vince get over it let the XFL go maybe you got excited because you were talking about the XFL again maybe there was a part of you that says man I really missed that challenge there's a part of you that feels like I've learned my lessons from the first time and the second go around, I'll get it right. No, you won't, you stupid idiot. What in the blues to blue fucks makes you think that the second venture will be any more successful than the first? Especially with the stigma of you being involved potentially with the second football league, knowing how the first one went. What the hell type of television partner worthwhile do you think you're going to get? What other types of investors do you think are going to be eager and willing to jump on board when you can't even run your core competency to the same level of effectiveness as you once did? If you've got money burning a hole in your pocket, then reinvest it in your WWE product. This is madness. I can't believe Vince is stupid enough to think that this is a good idea. Humbug on his ass. This is moronic.